How's it going guys? Welcome to another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battle. And I'd just like to wish all you American viewers a happy Thanksgiving. And to all you uh, non-American viewers, then uh, happy Thursday. But uh, yeah, just like me, I'm just celebrating a nice Thursday. Not worrying about Thanksgiving, though. Having a turkey would be cool. Anyway, today I have a Wi-Fi battle. And it is against Matt. I pretty much just set up a random challenge by like uh, just pressing, like looking for battle or whatever on the PSS. And Matt accepted. It was just after I battled against Santi, so I'm using the exact same team. And yeah, as you can see, he has a blaze skin, which is banned now, but whatever, I didn't even care. So, obviously in the future, I may be a little more strict in regards to uses, usage of, like, uh, banned things. But, yeah, blaze skin, he used blaze skin, I didn't really care. He may not even have had anything else. But, this is the last battle, I think. I think I've actually, it's not the last. I have, like, one more multi-battle saved on the versus record. And that's because I've been pretty much IV breeding. A lot and I've been trying to get stuff ready so I have like a box not, not a full box I have a few things in a in a box I could probably train up and start using so at least have some perfect IV Pokemon for battling and stuff but yeah let's just get into this battle because I've been speaking way too long so you guys already know we have to have the Sandre's theme playing in the background anyway Matt is gonna lead off with his golem as I'm gonna lead off with my uh, Heliolisk, because it is Choice Scarf. Now, I was kind of fearing the Earthquake here, so I switch out. I believe he makes a good play here and goes for Stealth Rocks. I do pack the Grass Knot. I was just sort of uh, worried as to what he could have done. So, does go for the Stealth Rock. I could have used Grass Knot, but even then he could have been cussed at Barry and kills me with an Earthquake or something. But anyway, freeze it down into Glyscore, get my uh, Poison Heal going already, and I'm just going to go for Toxic on this Golem, just to try and whittle it down, and uh, yeah, just to deplete its HP turn after turn. Goes with Stone Edge, and it does a alright damage. This is like a light score, so it's obviously going to take it. Yeah, after Poison Heal, it did pretty much nothing really, did it? Because Poison Heal gave me a lot of HP back. And he's going to withdraw his Golem, which makes sense. Not too much he can do to Glide score if he can hit me with Stone Edge. As he goes to Obama's Snow, I believe I go for the, uh, the Substitute here, predicting the switch and knowing that I can take another Stone Edge. So, go for Substitute. And obviously it's good to have a substitute up on this thing because I can hit it with a Toxic. And again, much like his goal, just whittle it down. The Haley setup is kind of annoying though, because you know, residual damage and stuff. And I won't get as much HP back with Toxic Gill because I've lost some HP to Hail. Anyway, go for the Toxic on the Obama Snow, just to get some uh, damage off every turn. As he goes for the Energy Ball, and that's obviously going to break my sub because Gliscor is more of a physical defensive Pokemon rather than special. So I'm not going to take special hits all that kindly, even though it's a neutral effective move, but whatever. So, get HP back with some uh, Poison Heal as he uh, takes some damage. I got to switch out here. Obviously cannot stay in an Obama Snow with Gliscor. It's just not logical. So I'm going into my Gudra. And yeah, the problem with this is I didn't bring a Rapid Spinner. If I did, it would have helped, but it, yeah, it would have helped with like taking residual damage and stuff. Goes for Blizzard. I take that so well. Assault Vest Scooter is such a good Pokemon, just takes hits very kindly. And yeah, that's a Blizzard from Obama Snow, which is, it's not really a slouch. So, he's going to for be forced to switch out on the Fire Blast as he goes out into his Azumarill. I believe I go for the Dragon Pulse, though, which is a Oh no, I do go for the Fire Blast, alright, whatever. I didn't go for Dragon Pulse, which is good, but, um, go for Fire Blast. Unfortunately, I do not get the burn. Obviously, that would have been great. And I am obviously threatened by this thing as well. I think I, uh, do I sack my Gooder here? Because I... No, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, it's time I'm going to switch out and go into my uh, Gliscor, knowing I can take something, as I believe he goes for the Play Rough. And after uh, Stealth Rock damage plus Hail, it kills me. Well, not Hail, just plus Stealth Rock damage, just kills me. See, so, yeah, I Choice Banded Zoom Roll. That, that, that's not a perfect IV Gliscor. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but anyway, free to go out to my Gengar and go for a uh, Sludge Bomb. Go for a substitute first, though, just seeing what he... I thought he might want to switch out, like, fearing the sludge bomb, but... Besides, he's going to stay in and go for another play rough. And that is going to, unfortunately, break myself. I'm sure it sucks, I am, like... This is meant to be Mega Gengar, but... Uh, for, like, multi battles and stuff, and the battle against Santi, I was using it as a, uh... As a Focus, uh, sa focus Sash set. Well, I could barely speak there, but... Focus Sash set. And, yeah. Take out his Azumarill from... That range HP could have kept my Focus Sash intact. I wasn't sure if he wanted to stay in, if I could have got a free sub up. But, 
He does Mega Evolve into Mega Blaziken, which is of course banned now, but as I said at the start, I did not really care. As I'm gonna go for a substitute predicting the pre or predicting the protect. But unfortunately for me, he goes for the Flare Blitz. That sucks. Because again, another time where I go for a substitute and he doesn't go for the move I want him to go for. So obviously he may have been predicting the substitute. I could have went for a Shadow Ball, which would have done a hefty amount because Gengar is a powerhouse. And yeah, I would have done a lot of damage. But he's gonna go for or for Flare Blitz on like, very sneak there again as well. Gonna go for the Flare Blitz and knock me out, which is obvious because Gengar is kind of frail, and by kind I mean it's pretty frail. So he goes out. He, what? No, he doesn't go to anything. He stays in with Blaziken. I go to my Azumarill, and I'm gonna threaten with the Aqua Jet. And here I make another over prediction. Go for the uh, substitute as he reveals the Earthquake. Or no substitute. Why would I have substitute on choice? Bend Azumarill. Well, go for the superpower on the prediction that he'd go out into a Bomb of Snow or a Golem or something. Not Golem, yeah, Bomb of Snow. But anyway, the superpower knocks it out, which is great, but still. I do take a lot of unnecessary damage from the uh, from the Earthquake when I could have just gone for an Aqua Jet and knocked that thing out. Anyway, he goes out into his Gengar and pretty much decide now it's the time to go out into my Gudra and pretty much just let this thing die because it's at a very uh, low range of HP and I believe I take a Sludge Bomb, but yeah, he's going to hit me with the Dazzling and leave him on the next turn. So no, it didn't really matter. I, like, I took the Sludge Bomb to my surprise, but I am going to get knocked out by Dazzling and Gleam. Which sucked. So I'm gonna go to my Azumarill again, and I believe I go for the Aqua Jet, and it doesn't quite do enough to take him out. I'm pretty sure it doesn't kill him. Yeah, it doesn't kill him. So he's gonna be able to knock me out the Sludge Bomb, and that sucked because uh, if this was, I don't know what IVs this thing has, but if it was perfect in attack, then I would have been able to kill. But it's at the range where Mammoth Swine is gonna be able to come in and get a mandatory kill. So it doesn't even matter. Gonna go for the Ice Shard and knock it out. And yeah, we just take out that Gengar. But what does he have left? He has a Bomb of Snow, he has a uh, Golem, and he has something else. But he goes out to a Bomb of Snow now, which obviously makes sense. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I believe, is just go for the... Uh, go for the Icicle Crash and just try and get damage off because I don't have anything... I have my Heliolisk, but that's not gonna take like Energy Ball or anything. So I'm gonna go for the Icicle Crash. And it's going to do a hell of a lot, to my surprise. Like, Mammoth Swine just gives out, it just dishes so many hits. But he goes for the, uh, yeah, the Energy Ball. It's going to knock out my Mammoth Swine. And I'm pretty much down to my Choice Scarf Heliolisk, which, unfortunately, uh, it's going to have a tough time taking on Golem, whatever. And um, so I'm pretty much banging on, like, Focus Blasts hitting. And I'm pretty sure we all know that's not a great strategy, because Focus Blast... Is highly inaccurate. Now that I think about it, I could have went for the Grass Knot. And I could have probably killed it from that range. And, uh, yeah, that would have definitely helped. Oh, he had Pinsir. Yeah, never mind. He had Pinsir left. So that, that's why I went for Focus Blast. Even though it wouldn't do that much to this thing either. So, yeah, I couldn't beat Pinsir. I probably even had Pinsir. Do miss the Focus Blast. I'm going to get hit by the Earthquake. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the battle. So, definitely not my best. Uh, again, it's not a proper team that was organized. It was just stuff I grabbed from my box and whatever. I don't know if his stuff was like perfectly IV'd. Mine wasn't. I know that for sure. So, anyway, uh, thanks to Matt for the battle. I don't know if you have a YouTube username. If you do, then like comment because I don't remember. And uh, yeah, just like thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this battle. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.